Hello, this is McD the Beast, and this is McD Sports 4 coming to you today with my AFC South football predictions for the 2020 NFL season. Before I continue, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. Great, greatly appreciate if you do that. We're really trying to go to the channel. We're trying to hit 300, 300 uh, subscribers before Thursday. We're five away. We're at 295 right now. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. You will not regret it. Um, AFC South here. Um, last year, the Texans took this division, but two teams came out of it, the Texans and Tennessee Titans. I am a Tennessee Titans fan, so uh, I was very fired up last year about our team, and we ended up getting to the AFC Championship game. Uh, meanwhile, the Texans lost to the Chiefs in the divisional round after the big comeback win against the Bills. Colts, uh, they hope to be getting better. They got Phil Rivers at quarterback. We'll see how that goes. And then the Jaguars. Uh, I'm going to try to be nice in this video about the Jaguars because let me tell you something. They might be the worst football team ever. And I'm absolutely serious when saying that. But let's get into it. Let's go um, one through four, obviously. And first place, I got the Tennessee Titans. I am a Tennessee Titans fan. Call me a homer all you want. But this team, they just added Javion Clowney. Go check out that video. Uh, if you want, that video was on McD Sports 4 since yesterday. It did very well. Thanks for the views and all that and the thumbs up. But um, Javion Clowney just jo joined the Titans, and it bolsters this defensive line. It's a big, uh, huge, huge addition to this defensive line. Offensively, Derrick Henry, that's all you, you need to know. All this team's going to do is hand it off to Derrick Henry. Uh, Ryan Tannehill, I think, is good enough to make a few plays every game. And I think this defense is going to improve. I think Mike Vable is a hell of a coach. I know I was not sold on Mike Vable at first. Um, but eventually, I came over the bridge and basically was sold on him. And I think this team's going to win the division. It's about time the Tennessee Titans win the division. I'm going to say 11-5. and five. They have the easiest schedule in the NFL. Um, and listen, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we start the season 1-2, and two, the Tennessee Titans. But after that, I think it's a, a green light ahead. And I think we just win a bunch of ball games. So that's why I think the Tennessee Titans are going to come in first place in this division at 11-5. and five. And second place in this division, I'm going with the Indianapolis Colts at 8-8. Eight and eight. You might think this is a bit of a uh, tough uh, prediction here. Uh, because some people have the Colts 11 and 5, and some people have them 6 and 10. I have them at 8 and 8. Um, I think the team around Phil Rivers is probably one of the best uh, teams around a quarterback you're going to get in the NFL. But I also think that Phil Rivers, I think he's washed up. I don't think he's going to do well in Indianapolis. He's the most immobile quarterback in the league, in my opinion. I even think Tom Brady's more mobile than him, honestly. And I do think that. Uh, Last year with the LA Chargers, I think you saw it uh, planted on his face, basically. That team basically was not a good team because of Phil Rivers. I mean, he was very bad, had a very bad year, and I don't think he's going to bounce back. I really don't. I wish him well in Indianapolis. Um, I, do th I do think we will split with the Colts. I don't think we'll go up there and beat them two years in a row. But I honestly think that the Indianapolis Colts, I think Phil Rivers is overrated. I honestly think they should just stick with Jacoby Brissett. I think he fits this team better. And we'll see what happens. But I do think that the Indianapolis Colts go 500 this year, finish second in the division, and they go 8-8 eight and eight and finish second in the division. I just said that. But, um, yeah, Phil Rivers is the main reason why I think um, the Indianapolis Colts is going to um, struggle some this year. And third place in the AFC South, I got the Houston Texans going 7-9. and nine. Uh, Bill Bryan is an idiot. I don't care what people say. He might be, he might not be a bad head coach. Nurse, uh, no, <laughs> he might not be a bad head coach, but I do think as a GM, he's got awful. I still don't understand why you guys traded uh, DeAndre Hopkins, the best wide receiver in the league. I don't know um, what the Houston Texans are doing. You guys just, just resigned uh, D Deshaun Watson or gave him an extension, rather, which is good. But, I mean, I don't think they really have much around him. You can tell me Will Fuller, he's always on the IR, it seems like. Running game, I think, is just going to be average at best. Defensively, I think they'll be decent, but 
I mean, it might not just be good enough. It's basically going to be Deshaun Watson a bust, I think, again for this team. I just think I'm not going to overcome all the uh, bad things about this team and all the weaknesses. And I think they're going to finish the season 7-9. and nine. They're also playing a first-place schedule, which is going to be kind of tough. So, overall, I do th and they, they play the uh, NFC North, and I think there's three teams that could legitimately beat them. Four teams, actually, if the Lions stay healthy, but I just think it's going to be a tough year for the Texans. I think it's going to be one of those years. I think you're going to be in a lot of ball games, maybe, but at the same time, it's just not really going to go well, I think, this year for the Houston Texans. So, that's why I have you guys in third place. And then, last place, of course, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I actually gave you guys two wins. Um, You guys just cut Leonard Fernand, trade one of your better uh, safeties to Cleveland. His name escapes me, but I really, I mean, I, it was tough finding two wins on the schedule for the Jaguars. The Jacksonville Jaguars are a god awful team. Uh, I know some people want to be sold on Garden Minshew. Uh, listen, he's a short term ish. He's a short term um, answer. They'll, I, they, I think they're going to draft a quarterback. I really do. Either either Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence, whoever they get, because they're getting the first overall, overall pick. They are the worst team in the NFL. Um. And I don't think Doug Monroe is a bad head coach. I think he just gets screwed over a lot um, by the GM Cardwell, who, um, by the way, I can tell you this right now, uh, Jim Cardwell is full of it. Um, he was, he is not a good GM at all. Very bad GM, and the owner is bad as well for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And, I, I mean, I just don't think this team is going to really compete this year in really many games. I really don't. And I think it's going to be another rough year there for Jacksonville because it's just really bad down there. It's very bad. Even with uh, even with Tom Coughlin gone, I thought maybe he could bring maybe at least his team back to competitiveness. I mean, he did for one year, the one year of Wonder Jaguars, I like calling them, which, by the way, the Tennessee Titans still swept your asses um, that year. But, um... I mean, I just really, I think that I'll, I'll be stunned if this team wins more than like three games. I, I, I'll be completely honest. They're just so bad. I mean, my God, um, it, it's just going to be, it's they're really bad. But anyways, those are my AFC South predictions. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. I always like hearing from y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Please subscribe to your channel. I really appreciate you do that. McD the Beast, signing off.